Vinny, Dan, and Abby. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi, Alex. How, howdy, Alex. Welcome to the old, not quite west, more like Midwest, South Midwest. Uh, it's that's unclear. The yeah, it's, Cattle country. It's kind of some states pushed together. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. Never heard of it. The second oh, one. Wow. We're here. It's a prequel. Uh, Take your hat up. T- tip your hat. I cannot tip this my hat. Sucks. Yeah, you're right. It's can garbage. you say m'lady? Uh mm. I can say hi to people. I can say hey to this jury Freedom. dude over here. Let's let's greet uh, Mr. Call Strauss. him m'lady. Hey, you see I could put any money in the box? No, I don't think so. All right, then. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's my a, chat. My is that good Arthur? Uh, Levi. That is, yeah, so I, yes, I am Arthur Morgan. You, you are Arthur. Are you, uh... Are you, do you have a slow way of speaking? Uh, I have a slow way of walking, slow way of speaking, <laughs> slow okay. way of everything, because that is what this game is. It is a slow <laughs> porn cowboy game that takes a very long time to play. Oh, yeah. uh, and, you know, a lot of that is very so much wh- by design. So people jumping into this, yes. uh, what are we about to see here? Uh, so this is, I'm going to pause real quick. So this is about, I'm going to say, again, I have not actually finished this game yet. Because As of the time of this recording. Extremely long. Yeah. I think I'm nearing the end game, but I'm not quite there. I'm going to say this is probably... Probably somewhere around a quarter to a third of the way through the game. Okay, so you have loaded a previous save. Yes. Uh, a quarter to a third way in. There might be story stuff, but Alex, it, you tell me. The area we it, are in is not going to be replete with heavy spoilers okay. by any means. I crack my knuckles. Let's Here load we go. up the map. Tell me, tell uh, me about Red here's, Dead 2. So just to give you a quick idea, this is just the map as it is as of this stage of the game. Uh, there is definitely more that I have not uncovered here. There's a big old city I haven't even gone to yet at this stage. Uh, but here's where we are. This is our camp, and that is a big part of the game, is this camp where you are hanging out with the Dutch Vanderlind gang. So this, Just to give sorry. a sense of how little spoilery this will probably be, uh, if I'm correct, I think this is right after the part where you first kind of get introduced to a main antagonist. Yes. Yeah, yeah there's that there's, early on. There, there, are, there are multiple antagonists, right. uh, but this is this is pretty early in all that. I will also say, if folks watching this are concerned about that at all, we also have a video that shows the very, very opening yes. beginnings of the game. It has kind of start. a self-contained intro before it kind of spits you out into the larger open world, but let's, let's just kind of go with this bit by bit. So we're in the camp here. Uh, this is where we are currently holed up next to this lake. Is this the camp or is it a camp? Do you get multiple camps throughout the Well, you get multiple camps, but there's only one. Is it it a roving camp? Yes, Yes. it is a roving camp. You are are a band of of outlaws kind of moving from place to place. You're like a cowboy circus. Yes. When Uh, you ride your cowboy around, do you have a gang of families behind you with all of their gear and equipment constantly? uh, (laughs) Not, no, because the camp doesn't move that often. Is it Banner Saga? It is not. (laughs) Okay. Uh, So the big thing here is that you kind of just need to keep this camp up and running and one of your responsibilities is kind of dumping money into the uh into the coffers to make sure that you can buy supplies and upgrade the various things around the camp there are three main things to upgrade there's your ammunition your medical tent and your food are those on a meter somewhere well here i will show them right now there is a ledger uh, that you can go to, which is right over here. I do like his deliberate walk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Alex, I've dumped pretty much all of my money into this stuff for the most part, outside of some gun upgrades and things. Is yes. that smart? Like, I feel like, hey, I'm not going to the, like, tonic tent and grabbing stuff every time I leave, but I'm constantly trying to, like, pour everything I've got back into the Once camp. Once you have the upgrades, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Uh, other than just making sure everything is refilled. I'm going to give some items here, because I have a bunch of uh, valuables I'm oh. not currently doing anything with. Okay. So Did you a- steal those? Um, possibly. So no. what am I looking at here? Uh, so this is just, uh, I'm donating stuff into the camp coffers. You see up in the top right there, there's, the bottom number is my amount of money that I currently hold. Yeah. And the top number is the camp funds. Okay, so your purse in the bank? Yes, exactly. And, and so when you're, say, donating items, you're just putting cash value into the... You can also donate your own money. You can do both. Okay. Uh, but, and so the ledger, oh, sorry, hit the wrong button. Sorry, he has to go through the whole animation. There's a lot of watching animations There's in this a game, lot of watching right. animations in this game. Okay, ledger, there we go. Uh, this is where you go when you buy the upgrades for the camp. Uh, and so this is just sort of like everyone who's been donating. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of donating. Damn, that gold ingot. Uh, people are not, uh, helping out as much as I would like them to. <laughs> uh, but so here is where you upgrade the, the various things. Like, obviously you get better medicine and better food as you upgrade those tents. Uh-huh. Uh, food, clo- food, clothes, medicine. Yes, Got and it. then you just, uh, you can refill the actual supplies from time to time. Uh, and then these are other things like, you know, I can make Dutch's. You, you haven't gotten Dutch's shit better? No. That's first things first. That is the first thing I bought. Yeah, no. Well, oh, they're man. They're more important things. Well, what, well, what are the consequences of doing this Yeah, what stuff? happens if you uh, neglect your camp entirely? Yeah. 
Uh, I haven't really done that, so I don't know. But at the same, I, what I will say is that uh, as long as the the little icons up there are not in the red, yeah, uh, you're generally fine. I've had a couple of times where it's gotten down in the red, and I've had people in the t the camp walk up to me and be like, "Hey, we need some some more food here soon. We need some stuff." Okay. So they, the, you know, the camp is aware of whether you are actually, you know, getting them the stuff they need or not. You but just, if you don't get the stuff, does anything happen? I don't know. I haven't, I, I never did it. Okay. I don't think it's like a game over type thing. Yeah. I think people are just pissy. At well, you. what's yeah. the benefit of getting? Well, it? the benefit is that you know, you're there's this sort of uh, here. I'll just quickly bring this up. You see at the bottom there, I've got that meter. Is oh, that, that's ooh. your like honor. Yeah, meter. Like Mr. Yeah. Honorable here. So when you are doing honorable stuff and you are helping out with the camp, the general mood of the camp is better. The people are happier and all of that. Uh, what, does that get you like more ammo or it's not quicker just, reload? It's not just that. It's really just about making <laughs> the people happy. Like, right. Here's the one thing that the camp is really cool for. This is a great little slice of life of like what these people's lives are like. You just hang out here and like sometimes you know they'll be sitting around the campfire telling yeah. stories, eat some stew. It's uh, a shame that Westworld has ruined this for me <laughs> and that these robot people who are cowboys, uh, yeah. their sad little lives doing their well animation be, loops. <laughs> I just I walked past this, so oh. I think a thing is about to happen. Is this, this is more of the start of a mission. Okay. Uh, is this how missions start generally? You kind of stumble onto it? Sometimes, yeah. Other times, you have to walk up to a person and, like, engage in a thing. Right. So you see how... Well, chopping vegetables thing. for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Whoa, look at those cans. Uh, yeah, those cans, those are magic beans. You should sell those on the market. No, you gotta plant I've it. A, a few little bugs like that here and there. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. Fishwife? <laughs> fishwife. Oh, what does that mean? It's well, like a fishmonger, like someone who, who well, you know, is forced to like cut and and Run and man. manage fish. So big. Oh, is the, the cook part of that one gang in the We're first hunting. Red Dead? You know those like top hat gang? I don't, I don't believe called. so. No. Okay. Do they have uh, how many references to the first game on there? Well, none because the, this is a prequel. Oh yes, Good. I'm stupid. But I mean, you could have like forward you references. You know what I mean? Mr. Like, Pearson? there's definitely like I mean, Maybe John Marston is a part of your gang. You know, like that is it has that level of it. Okay, but not not much more than that. It it doesn't spend a lot of time trying to be like, oh well, you know this this thing maybe will happen in the future. You know, like it doesn't do that. That's good. Marston builds C three PO. Are you coming with me? <laughs> I can't plant woman? the trees that will be in Red Dead. Uh, right. No, Molyneux didn't make this. So you're in a so mission. I uh, yeah, we ended up in a mission. Chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. And here we go. And now you're leaving camp. You can I suspect. I'm gonna take a guess here. You can't pull your weapon out in camp. Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. So the camp stuff is very cool, though, because, yeah. again, it's where you kind of get the the little cool bits down, of man, yeah. personality from all the various sure. characters yes. in the game. Uh, and a lot of it isn't mission-focused. Like, I'm doing a mission now, but a lot of it is just, like, people hanging out and doing hey, stuff. man, I've been on the Normandy. I know what a base is like. There is something cool in this one about, like, having a home to come back to. And it's a roving home and everything. But, like, oh, these are all the people I know. And here's, oh, here's my tent and everything. Let me talk to Dutch. And the way their mood kind of shifts with where the story is going and all that stuff. Like, it's, it's a lot more ambitious, definitely, than any of the sort of, like, side storytelling in The Last Red Dead, that's for sure. Do you see the upgrades manifest as you do them? Like, people get better tents and yes. stuff like that? That's yes, you do. I like when the games do that. Or if you skin uh, enough of a certain thing, you can get, like, new nice coverings for the table. That's a cool. card table. I like that. Or, or a nice skull on the wagon. This is a pretty game. I yeah, know, it looks very good. It's so your playing on the pro. Yes, not PlayStation 4 Pro. Obviously. Here for this recording. All right, go run over that deer and then skin it. Uh, that's gonna mess up the pelt. You yeah, need that's to be gonna a be perfect a poor pelt. quality pelt. That's not what you're looking for. Yeah. Pearson needs better than that. Before you ask, so we'll just head into town here and uh, we'll do this mission. Then I'll just maybe run around the world a little bit more. I said too that uh, Dutch is a great character in this. Yeah, like, Dutch, Dutch is good. I, I like Arthur a lot. Arthur's great. Uh, he's got a real kind of you know aw shucks. Aw shucks dad, oh, like Longmire dad yeah. kind of vibe to him. Uh, is he like not not as kind of naive as Marston was? Definitely not. Okay. But also like the naivete of Marston in the in the last game is a little weird considering how much further after this this takes and how much shit apparently these people go through because boy these people go through a lot of shit. But they kind of give Marston shit in this game. They kind of yes. act like Marston's this young guy yeah, who's kind of dumb. 
So you don't here. You don't have to necessarily steer. You just hold down the X. Button. I am steering. You are steering. Can't you just go into a cinematic view? I could also do that. I use this pretty frequently. And yeah. so this is it's on it's auto pathing. So yes. Yeah. Okay. You hold X, and then you can click R three to cycle between different angles. Sometimes it has a hard time when you're trying to follow another character okay. with the pathing. But like if you're just going from a point to point, it will usually work just can fine. Can you can you stay on an angle without it auto switching cameras? Uh, not in the cinematic view. Okay. Sometimes I don't agree with their, uh, some of their choices. So this is Rhodes. This is one of the smaller towns in the game. Don't cause trouble here. Yes. Uh, we're, we can't cause trouble here right now because we have a, okay. a deal going with the here local sheriff where they have so deputized us because they have no idea who we are. You no! Are you insane? I thought we was you got, you're doing a good job of acting like you're on the right side of the law. Mm -hmm. Idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying oh, to get you're like Robin Hood. I'm going to say that that rule is a little bit looser than maybe they are actually giving, they are framing here, but yeah. Maybe Arthur's got a, a skewed perspective on that. <laughs> I've murdered about 500 people in this game. That person just robbed the trees from of apples. Kill him. He's got apples in his belly. That person's got money. Kill him. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to the post office. Okay. Kill him. <laughs> go rob that train. Oops, you can do that. There are train robberies. Uh, you can't just rob any train, though, I don't think. Uh, have you tried? I haven't tried to rob you any. You can hop from your horse onto a train and just start holding people up. All right, well. <laughs> have you just gone around riding trains? Uh, you, yeah, you can, there's a, a challenge for, like, standing on top of a moving train and shooting a bunch of birds out of the oh, sky. Oh, really? That's yeah. fun. I think the other game had a similar thing. This, is, this looks dense. <laughs> it is an incredibly dense game. Uh, as I said, I'm... I'm I don't know the exact hour count that I'm at because uh, they don't have a percentage tracker. So, uh, what did you just do there? You posted. You sent I, I delivered out? a letter for Mr. Pearson. Oh right, that's when they we read. Yes, they the read it in the she, wagon. She was reading it yeah, as yeah. we were. Can going you ring along. that bell? Ring that bell. Ring that bell. I don't think I can ring the bell. Shoot the bell. Shoot it. I can't. It. No, I'm not supposed to let, use don't guns here. Cause trouble. Uh, in this town, okay, I'm not allowed to use guns. Can you punch the bell? Uh, I don't think so. No, I, I did run up to the bell before, but I could not punch it. There is a point where you can start using guns in this in this town eventually. You're just not there yet. Can you help that person skin that animal? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. They seem um, to be doing just fine. So there's a big horse thing in this game too, with horse relationships and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, are there also like mules and donkeys and stuff like the last game and like sickly horses? I have not. So there are definitely like smaller, less you know, less powerful horses. Uh, I've I've had a couple of those, uh, but I have not seen. I think at one point I was riding a donkey that was done up like a zebra, but uh, I do not believe <laughs> yeah. that is a regular feature. Okay. Can, can you know donkeys what? are like not the same as horses, right? I mean, they are in a similar genus, but no, they are not. Okay. They're not like baby they're horses. Smaller. Yeah, no. they're smaller. They're more like pack animals. Yeah. You know, like right. ponies are also not baby horses. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you serious? They're yes. Different, One hundred percent. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, can you, you were thinking uh, of foals, I believe, or foals like baby horses. horses. Fillies. 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 Yeah. Is that a chicken? Oh, that's foul. Can you? Uh, can you get yes. off of here and do anything you want at this point, or once you're in a mission, you're in a mission? Generally, once you're in a mission, you kind of need to complete that mission. Okay. That can be frustrating at times, because like in a situation like this, sometimes I'll see an animal uh, yeah. going by, and it's like, oh, that's a three-star, I need that thing for the thing, and I'll get off, or, like I'll shoot a bird out of the sky yeah. and go to pick it up, and it'll be like, failed, you strayed too far from the uh, dude. Oh, okay, so does, she doesn't even give you a warning, like, hey, get back here, or people like... Uh, somebody to... will typically yell at you, but okay. it's not like a leaving the mission area yeah. prompt or anything it's, like that. It's not like a, hey, you're about to leave... No, it's like somebody will yell at you and all of a sudden it goes to the game over screen. Okay. Yeah. So generally try and stay on the mission, even if you see some, the golden deer. If you're in like a mission mission, I've found that it's best to stay on it. Okay. Nobody's taken Is she driving? Uh, I think I'm driving. No, yeah, she is she driving. She gives you the reins at some point. Yeah, she's taking the reins right now. What happens oh. if you try to steer? Who is this? That's not a friend. What, uh... These are the Lemoyne Raiders. Uh, these are former Confederate soldiers that have kind of taken up residence in this area and are essentially just bandits. Do we know, do we know generally what analog area we're supposed to be in? So this is, I think, a Louisiana equivalent. Okay. Yeah, we're really close to some like really swampy, like really cool looking areas here. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, music's going. Wait, did she shoot the horse? I believe she did. Oh, so now are you driving so she can shoot? I believe I am. Yes. Oh, she was, I think she just got shot. Oh no, I'm I've got a gun. Shoot those people. All right, so let's get all dead eye on this. What do you say? Shoot yeah. the horses in the knees. No, I want to shoot em. the people. Flip them. The horses did nothing wrong. Uh, Abby, I like to think. Yeah, gotta do it with style. Good headshot. Uh, 
dead eye have any upgrades or you, once you get dead eye you are so dead what eye. you'd get the upgrade is eventually you can mark targets manually as opposed to just like zooming over guys right. and having that be you know whatever targets end up there that, i think that was similar to the first game yeah it's it's very similar to the first game the shooting looks like it's similar to the first game in just sort of a nice, improved way, I assume. It yeah, feels I, I, nicer. Say, I, I do think it feels better than the shooting in the first game, but yeah, it's very much like guns you do have to maintain over time, but that literally is just buying gun oil and then rubbing them. Nice. Like, it's not like a, a large process. I'm or glad this game finally let me do that. Or it's super easy to just go to like a gunsmith and pay him like a buck and they'll clean it automatically for you. Mm. Yes. Uh, do you, do guns have different power ratings and, and yes? Uh, oh wait, who's still shooting? Do you have to loot they all the bodies? Off. I don't have to. I mean, I can you I can should. leave them all there. But you do you step over them or do you have to hit the button every time? You have to hit the button every time. <sighs> I think this kind of sounds like from talking to you a hit the button kind of game. This is a very much oh, a hit the button okay. kind of game. When you walk over bodies, typically you will pick up like a cartridges and, and like right. like bullets. And I think stuff that's like how that. it was in the first game as well. Oh, but yeah, but if you loot, you'll get money, money or watches or whatever. And just yeah. do the pat 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 pat. Animation. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of animation. <laughs> Bushwhack. Good movie. So how do you get new weapons? Is it buy them, upgrade camp? Sometimes you get them uh, by killing people. Uh, there are definitely special guns you can get by, by, by killing certain people. Uh, you can buy them. Uh, sometimes they will just show up as part of missions, and then they just become part of your arsenal. So or like you're robbing a homestead, and you find someone's like stash box, and it's like, oh, yeah. there's this revolver in here. So and, the one, and then you have that permanent. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it's similar to like the GTA games, and that once you unlock a gun, that gun is part of your arsenal forever. Nice. You, just gotta find uh, ammo for you can it. upgrade individual ones, but yes, like the at the very least, like when you're on your horse, you can always select those guns. But when when you get off your horse, you have to decide which guns you're bringing with you. One of each type. Or so I think it's like two rifle types, and then two pistol types. <laughs> and it takes a little bit to learn that, like, oh, don't just get off your horse once you're at the mission area and go in. Because, like, a lot of times I've gone in and been like, oh, shit, I just have my pistols. I didn't grab a bow or a right. repeater or something. Oh, it doesn't grab the last thing you brought with you? Sometimes, no, most of the time it'll just be like you've got nothing in your rifle oh, slot, no. so you got to yeah. remember to grab it from the horse. Is there there's an upgrade tree for Arthur? No. It is not. It's so, like, these. there is a leveling up of the three core systems, which are kind of on the left there. There's your health, your stamina, and your dead eye. Uh -huh. That just comes from use and time. Like, you gain uh -huh. XP for that stuff, but there's no tree. You're not buying skills for him. It's You're not just, buying more red eye? No, it just it comes. Like, you can buy uh, tonics and food and stuff that will help refill it. And gun upgrades. Temporarily. Yes, but there are, and there are gun upgrades, but there's no, like, skill tree. So you gotta run around jumping. To get yeah, pretty jumping. much. It, it's kind of like the uh, yeah, oblivion. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversation, but I'd be lying. <laughs> Never mind this hole we got in the wagon. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, Sadie's all right. say I yeah. lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. <laughs> Very strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. There. All right, so we did that. Uh, while I'm here, before Eat some stew. Uh, I think the stew is not ready yet. Damn it. Can you, um, uh, can you do your laundry? So there's a couple other little things just I want to show off here. Uh, there are chores you can do around the camp if you want. They're very small things like, you know, chopping wood, carrying hay around or whatever. That just gives you a little bit of, like, it'll recharge your dead eye or it'll, uh, you know, it'll, it'll boost your, your honor rating, that kind of stuff. Uh, from your, your camp thing here, uh, you can change your hair, uh, your facial hair specifically. You have, to go, you have to go to a barber to do your actual haircut. Uh, but here, if I want wow. to, uh, I'm so I, pretty. If I had some pomade, I could clean up my oh, hair. Oh, really? Uh, oh, that hair looks really good. Yeah, uh, this so game looks good. Me. So I could take this mustache down, but chops, obviously I'm not. Chops, uh, chops, 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 well, I chops. I, I have to grow the the rest uh. of it. Wait, like over? Like you can never go? I can't just make my hair go. Wow. So if you shaved your mustache, you'd have to wait over yeah. time yes. to get it back. Yes. Yes. Do you oh, ever game, like huh? shave one side unevenly <laughs> by mistake? So far, I have not seen that, okay. but I will say that in my current late game save, I have some straight up Kurt Russell, Wyatt Earp shit going on. <laughs> it is real good. You can only trim. You can only trim. Got it. Uh, okay. When you go to a barber, that like I said, you can get more styles done, but, but you, again, you still can't. You, it's this huh. way hair actually works. That's cool. Yeah. 
a game should do that. I don't know if I need that in every game. <laughs> right. But, uh, You're kind of William H. Macy now. Here's my wardrobe. Uh, I don't have like a ton of different outfits and stuff, but uh, what I do have, oh, that's a neat little hat. I'll put my that be- Beaver Big Valley hat on. Okay. I love that they have all these hats. They also, there is, there is a degree of gameplay in this, actually, because there are certain areas that are hotter and colder than others. Oh, my god. And if gosh. you're going up into the mountains, like into the cold area, <laughs> yeah. you need a coat. So you gotta, you gotta eat the chili. That's cool. Yeah. So one thing you can do is you can store certain outfits on your horse. So if you are going to a place that like the temperature is, is too low you or have whatever, you winter. have a coat and so you can do it, that. The horse has a limited inventory though, right? Yes. Okay. Three you can, outfits. You, you can store up to three outfits, I believe. Nice. Uh, it looks like there's a homestead robbery we can do, do here. That. So let's Those do fun. that. Those, uh, these are like, these are side missions. Okay. I, I found that a, uh, a fun, insulting yeah. thing to do so, is to murder a man in this game and then steal his hat and wear it around town. Yes, oh. that is a very insulting thing to do. Yes. People are like, that's my husband's hat! <laughs> no one my says anything, but you peasants. know. Okay, yeah, that's fun. No You'll know. Uh, sorry, I'm going to talk Boy over this cut to you. No politics mind. was politics. That old world bullshit. The uh, no horse bullshit. inventory. Boy. Yes. Because there ain't if, no judgment say, here. One Most folks hate were to the ride their horse the off a cliff juice, accidentally even and the Osiris. horse died, would I lose <laughs> my inventory? No. Uh, okay. uh, because my horse Just died because of a bug in the game. No. Uh-huh. Um, basically, I, I accepted a mission, one. and when the mission started, it said, failed, no. your horse died, right even though my horse was nowhere near the situation, uh, and I kept all of my stuff. But my beloved horse is dead. But the next horse you got had all your stuff. Yes, yes. Then All right, I'll stop. Across across but the horse, yeah, the horse bonding is a whole thing. Uh, you can drift. Yeah, you can horse drift after a while. Uh, you know, it, it, having that, it makes them more responsive to you. They can come to you from further distances once you have that horse bond up. Uh, they're less likely to get spooked if ill shit happens. So it is not an infinite call your horse on your horse. No. no. I have definitely gotten myself into situations where my horse was a really long ways away. Now, when you get back to a camp or if you, like, sleep and come back, your horse usually ends up back where you are. (laughs) Or if there's a mission where, like, you have to get off the horse and get on a stagecoach or something, it'll typically, like, follow you or just be back in camp afterwards. Yep. All right, where's my horse? Uh, This is my tiny horse right now. I have a better horse right now, but... Sorry to talk over all that stuff. How generally is the dialogue and interaction... I think it's, for the most part, good. Like, there are a couple of characters I don't love in this game, but I think they're mostly characters you're kind of not supposed to love. Okay. But, and, but the in, quality of the... Yeah, the quality of the... Like, the quality of the characterization, the quality of the voice acting in general is a huge upgrade from the last game. Like, the last game had this very... You know, dime store graphic novel kind of vibe to it of like everyone's gi- a gigantic caricature. Uh, there weren't a lot of like actual hum- human beings to be found in that game. I like the original Red Dead, but it is not trying to be, you know, a serious cowboy game. Uh, for the most part, it's a movie. It's yeah, a, it's a it's a it's a carbon copy of a of, of a, a spaghetti of western. A spaghetti western. Yeah. Whereas this feels much more like they are going for the like the thing I keep going back to is something along like there's the tombstone elements of it as well there's certainly a little bit of like true grit circa 2010 uh, okay. mm-hmm. definitely in the voice acting uh, just vibe wise it's going for a little bit more of like a prestige western I think okay a little more subtlety of gray areas with yes. the characters but again this is also a rock star game so there are still plenty of side missions where you are hanging out with a wacky scientist that is inventing an electric chair and okay. so you need to go and fucking get a bounty target for him to electrocute in front of people and that's a wacky fun time so that shit is in there too. So right now you are controlling well, this horse, but you could. I'm steering have him. it, but I am I am holding X down, and that is matching pace with him. Okay, which was uh, something they passed. Yes. And there's weird systems where it's like if you're riding with a bunch of people, if you're holding it up and you double tap X, you can change information up to the front, <laughs> no or kidding, if you hold really? it back and do R1 oh, twice, you'll like shift behind. Really? And, and I have talked barely to used any of that yeah. stuff. There uh, are a number so of you, systems in this game I have barely touched. You do have L2 for Sean. Sean. Yeah. What so if I, that's that's if I want to ask him something. Okay. Anyway. Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get so, out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told camp? I go this guy Sean? Yes, yes, he's part of our crew. Sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, 
You tried so there's a lot of dialogue that comes just from well, sitting like, on a horse talking to people as you're going from mission to mission. Seems like maybe there's a lot of sitting on a horse. There's a yeah. whole lot of sitting. So there's a limited amount of fast travel in this game. So there's trains at, at towns and cities that you can use to get to the from city to city. And then eventually you buy a map uh, that from the camp will let you fast travel to any of those locations. But that's kind of it. Like, if you're just out in the world, there isn't just like an instant fast travel to random places. You either need to be in a city or in the camp to get to those places. So do you have, you don't have the portable camp? Like you in the other game where you have- You like do have that, but it is not a fast travel system. Oh. Right. So there's a lot of times where it's like, I'm far as fuck away from camp and I found some pelt or something I need for an upgrade and I throw it on the back of my horse and it's like, fuck, I gotta get this all the way back to camp. Like, take the train, put the horse on the train. You can get on the, the, the horse will show up if you do the train. I tested that last night. That works all right. Do you put the horse in the train? Uh, no, so but- You just put I, like a hat and a mustache on the horse and be like, this is my wife. Yeah, here's a wallet. Here's a horse wallet. The horse will usually follow you wherever you go. Okay. Like, it, sometimes it won't, but wow, generally needy. it will just kind of like follow behind you as you're doing stuff. It, it can't get stolen though, so if you, don't, oh, really? if you don't hitch it, like if you hitch it when you go to town, uh, then it won't be stolen. If it's stolen, can you get it back? Well, I, I have actually found the dude. Maybe I've actually never had a person steal my horse so far, which oh. is uh, I had one person try and I shot them instantly. <laughs> nice. You can uh, break wild horses too. My current horse is one I just saw running around. And it looked awesome, and so I broke it and it became my horse. All right, so I think we're gonna go rob this homestead. Grab your guns. I want them to hear us coming. So this is like there's different tiers of side mission. This is like you know an activity you are doing for uh, a gang member, a gang crew member. Uh, <laughs> you put your mask on yeah, so just, you don't I, lose. Uh, yeah, but like there's also the stranger missions like they had in these games before, just like random people around the world that need your help for various things. And those range again from like you know being comedic affairs to much more serious stuff. Do they seem a little more varied than like help, help? Uh, no, there's definitely. So that is the thing with this game, is that the it, just about every quest feels bespoke in a way oh, yeah. that a lot of open world games just aren't. Like, there isn't a lot of stuff that feels like copy-paste content. It, there's there's an element of story and interaction to just about everything, which is wild. But there are smaller ones, like the help help stuff, where it's like, oh, this guy got his leg caught in a bear trap. But, but it's or, not the same help help him. No, but those, no, no. Uh, yeah, so those low t low tier sort of interactions exist, but they they are one facet in a many multi faceted okay. gigantic yes. fucking spread of different stuff to do. Did you feel like in Redemption One there was a uh, a bit of the like person's broken down on the side of the road, help help, mm -hmm. you're a bandit trap. <sighs> Whoa. I'm gonna give you and your Whoa. daddy about five seconds to get the hell off my property, <laughs> I'm not, boy. I'm uh, my daddy. We don't did he not? No with me, he told me to he like hang back while he talked to the dude. He did say that. Oh, he did say that. That's probably why. Yeah, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Little beast. What? Where? Right here. Oh, yeah, did you didn't make it. That's that's exactly how that played out. Regardless. Yeah. When is I it, is this game a little gorier? Um, a little bit. I know that was like the blood animation. Yeah, that had some head come off. Oh yeah, there are definitely shots where dudes' heads will just flat out explode. Well, also, based on your honor. Wow, look at them fall though. That looks good. So if you're more honorable, like Alex is here, like they'll do these like glory shots where it's just like you pointing your guns, looking really heroic. Uh, but me, I'm pretty dishonorable in this game. So it's like really gory kill shots and stuff where you're just really seeing the blood oh, and everything. Shit. So it changes those. Well, actually, here we're gonna see the checkpointing system, which is actually really good for the most part. No, you just did cancel. Me. No, I, 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 I did just oh, okay. the checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks uh. Good. The, the checkpointing in this game has generally been extremely good. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. it's, it knows pretty much where you were, and, like, I rarely have had to do more than one objective, uh, you know, a second time. So if I'm remembering from the... If I'm remembering from the quick early game thing we did, the outside meter is how much of the thing you actually have left. The stuff above your map, like dead eye health. Yeah. The outside meter is how much you actually have left. The inner thing is how quickly it'll refill. The, the rate at which it refills? Yes. Okay. I'll say I don't like that system that much. I don't think the core stuff is really necessary. I'd be fine with just meters without the cores. Agreed. It's, it's a lot of like, okay, wait, now what do I eat or drink now to actually fill the core or the meter? It's, it's a little too much time spent looking at what stats I'm getting yes. versus just doing it. Yes. 
That's maybe my biggest complaint so far. I mean, far. It, it's that, and there's also a degree of finickiness sometimes in the stage. controls yes. that I have found. Uh, Take it easy. Like, for instance, right here, I'm holding L2 down mm -hmm. to interact with this person. If I hold R2 down... You'll take your weapon out? I'll take my weapon out and aim it at him. But, and sometimes oh. if you accidentally, like, let go of it a little too much or whatever, it will just shoot the guy. But also, Alex, I've tested it. I, if you just tap R2, sometimes it'll go into an aim. Um, but it does not seem consistent. I don't know how many times I've just blown someone's head off when I meant to just threaten them. <laughs> it's definitely one of the things that feels, like, the least uh, mm. consistent. Although yeah. I can imagine that in a cowboy movie. Like, damn it, my finger slipped. <laughs> it is a lot like I was at a bar or something. Oh, okay, now I just have to get the fuck out of here. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, nice Is this usually how you, is that like a new gun? Is that usually how you get them? Uh, it, it, again, sometimes it's killing people. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's pulling stuff off of, uh, you know, random people. Oh, sometimes it's just buying them. Okay. That loose well, board over there looks suspect. Let's see what the pay is for Where's that? To the left. Right behind you. There. Properly. Corner. All right. Right. right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard? Yeah, I think that was the thing I needed to find. Is there stuff to pick up in uh, houses to like read and get like flavor? There are books. Uh, they're short. You know, it's just like here's a couple of pages from a book that you can read. Uh, there's definitely like literature and stuff out there that sort of fills in some of the gaps of the world. There are like newspapers that update based on what's going on in the story. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Need lecture again. See you back at camp. All right, so we did that mission. So now you own this house? No, we just, we got just some money. yeah, we just found what was in here. Uh, you may have also noticed I've gone into this little. I was this. Whoa, Batman. Yes, yeah. so there is a bit of crime vision in here as well. So uh, you're going to search for beans? Uh, which you can use sometimes to track animals. Uh, <laughs> you can do that, that to find that. stuff in places. Ooh, meat. Okay, take that salami. I, take that cheese. I didn't realize you could do that inside. I've only used that for tracking animals. That's oh, yeah, you can use handy. that everywhere. Oh, yeah. that's very And it kind of highlights stuff that you can search. Oh, good. Okay. Do these dishes. <laughs> See if there's anything in here. Shoot them. Found some uh, rum. Do you find that a lot of times it's like you can't take something or you kill a deer or something and it's like, oh, you weren't able to harvest all the parts of this animal? Usually like, that's because I shot it bad. Mm. Oh, really? I did a bad job of shooting it. Oh, mine it, 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 I think it's more of an inventory thing with could me. Could also be that, says, too. The bodies disappear over time? Uh, weird yes, question, they do, just... but it takes a while. Right. Uh, I'm not going to do that stranger mission right now. Uh, so there's a couple of other things. I mean, I could just start riding around and, and check out some other stuff. Um... There's, like I said, there's stranger missions everywhere. Um, I have a question. Yes, go for is it. Is there um, like liar's dice, poker, yes. the the five finger fillet, my favorite way to it's, earn money so in Red Dead? Definitely five finger fillet, definitely poker, definitely blackjack. Is it all the same kind of deal? Uh, Any liar's dice? Liar's dice is so good. Uh, I, I don't. Dominoes. I haven't seen liar's dice. I've seen dominoes oh. too. I don't think I've seen liar's dice. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a, a wide variety of those things to do. Good gambling. Um, yeah, some decent gambling. I think we're gonna go do. Uh, we're gonna go uh, pick up an. Ex basically, we have uh, one of our gang's activities Ooh. is that we have a uh, uh, an ongoing uh, money lending scheme going. Uh -huh. So I need to go collect uh, some money from a guy. So I'm gonna go do that. Are um, you? Yeah, sorry. I'm no, you go. No, keep asking questions while I am writing. It seems oh, okay. Uh, what is the uh, ratio of being riding and then just getting attacked by a bear? randomly or being mauled by wild so animals. So rarely have I seen wild animals. It's not like a Far Cry thing? No, no. The, 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 there are definitely like legendary animals to go hunt, but they usually kind of keep to a very specific territory and they don't tend to like unless go after you, you randomly. Yes, unless you seek them out. That's good. Uh, there will be like random uh, stick-ups by various other gangs and crews if you're just walking around in, in what is considered their territory. Uh, and you can either fight them off or run away. Okay. okay. Show the uh, show the like hunting vision thing again here, just to show like how crazy some of this is. You can see like the stink lines coming off your character, oh, so neat. you can see like, like a, where the wind's going. Yeah, so like if an animal, if you're trying to find like this tough legendary animal or whatever, you want to stay downwind or whatever, or you can get things to mask your mm -hmm. scent and is that all that. Because you're a stinky cowboy. You're a stinky yeah, cowboy. can you make a dirty cowboy? I want to see him get dirty. I mean, he can, can you get make dirty. him dirty and chubby? Yeah, can you roll around in the mud? Uh, I mean, I can't just manually roll around in the mud, but if I got in a fight in the mud, I would definitely be very muddy. And like. How long would you be muddy for? Forever? Uh, for a while, at least. I've definitely had it like last through a couple of cutscenes oh, and cool. you know story things before I, I I eventually wore off. Does uh, the camp have a bath? Uh, uh, no, it doesn't. Hotels do. 
Yes, okay. hotels have baths. There's a fucking mini game for taking a bath. It's like, hey, press circle to scrub right leg. I, I love I, that. I did that exactly once, and then I forgot it even existed. <laughs> oh, really? That sounds like a cowboy. I take a couple. But again, like th that's the thing with this game, is that there are a million little systems like that all over the place. Like, look, over here, there's just like a random person that's like doing something. I don't know what it is. Let's find out what it is. And you can gain and lose weight, yeah? Yeah. What are these guys up to? But yeah, based on how often you eat. Uh, it looks like they're... they're Mind your business and keep walking. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll let them. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll just. Yeah. There. Your mask is still on, by the way. I don't know if you care about your uh, honor. Yeah. yeah. Does that make a difference? I'll just take it off. If they know, like, do, do you ever get recognized? You're like, oh shit, that's that gang guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what they're gonna do. Oh. Throw dynamite into the okay, middle of all of them and blow up the safe. The Clearly stole his safe, Alex. Yeah, I know. They're criminal. You only rob robbers. I want to see if they can get it open. Yeah, sometime before I turn too old to spend it would be nice. I don't see you doing nothing except talking all manner of crap. Hey, I got the safe. And I outran the sheriff in the wagon. Uh huh. I'm getting real sick of you right now. If I, oh, oh, they're gonna, gonna kill shoot, each yeah. other. He's gonna hit him in the head with the hammer. Oh yeah. See? Look at that. I told you. Huh. Well, Get him. Now's the time. Just red dead both of them. Oh, Now's the time. Right here. here we go. Dual wield. Yeah, I want to see dual wielding. Think. Oh boy. Ooh, his face is gone. Oh, and you got the horse a little bit. Bye, guys. Wear his hat. You can now manually target. Is that what you had already? You didn't just get that, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so that, that, I've, I've had that for a bit. Ooh. Ooh, 20 whole dollars. That's a oh, lot here. A little more in there. I would say early on, the economy in this game feels like it's going to be very restrictive, and then after a while, it just isn't. I really like seeing uh, horses in this situation. You can cut them free, and you can tell mm. them to flee. Like, oh, you're <laughs> free, go! Can you shoot that lantern and start a fire? Uh, where's the lantern? Oh, there. And then. Wait, no, let, wait, let the horse go first. No, hit the shoot the lantern, start a fire, then smack the horse and have it bring the fire to the town. <laughs> Hold on, I need to study this horse real quick. Now I've studied the horse. Oh, oh. wow. Jeez. Just stared at its butt. Just like Samus. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, geez. My plan is flawless. <laughs> no. That horse is going to run into the river and drown. <laughs> oh, no evidence. <laughs> I do burn bodies sometimes after can you, I loot a can place. Can you pick up bodies and stack them? Is that yeah. a boat yeah. you can get into? Probably. Uh, I probably could, yeah. Try it. Oh. Try it. Can or you swim? You can swim. You can fish. <gasps> you the can throw. There is fishing. I want to see you fish. I was going to go do that mission. I want to see yeah, you roll a boat. This is the fun stuff. The fishing is pretty good in this. It I is. I, make I, a wet cowboy. I want to see a wet cowboy. <laughs> All right, hang on one second. I just need to refill my. Let's see. I've, I've cooked stuff. If you drink like a bunch of whiskey, do you get drunk? <gasps> yeah. Can we yeah. get into a bar fight, please, please, please? Can you get drunk? What, do you, you want fish? me to get in the boat or do you want me to get no. in a bar? I want okay. you, what do you to want get me to wet <laughs> and then I want you to go into right, a bar here. soaking Here's wet. Here's me getting wet. Yes. I, want, I want you to get in the boat, get drunk, yes. and fall in the water and get wet. <laughs> Let's get drunk in a boat. I'm just saying you're asking a lot of me. Okay. Gotta right, get that be, stash wet. Yeah, should be you nice did. and damp now. You only got three quarters wet, All Alex. Right. I am not satisfied. <laughs> Look, <It> guys. <laughs> All right, how about the boat? I want to see you row. <laughs> Put the horse in the boat. Get drunk on a boat. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. No? I've been drunk on a boat. It's yeah, here we fun. go. Oh. <laughs> I have you, a boat. You're in a boat. I can ride a boat. Your I mean, your horse, your horse is jealous. jealous. That was, really, was never really in doubt. <laughs> Oh. It ran away from me. I don't Did you hit the horse with the boat? I didn't think so, but <laughs> why don't you stay with your boat then? Here, let's uh, let's make the horse horse feel better. Can you get it drunk? Oh, no. Get it smoke cakes. No. Wait, what's flea? Oh, you smacked. I, the horse? I tell it to go away. Oh, yeah. Um. Thank have you, you ever Alex. had a real relationship in real life with a horse? Uh, no. That is not a question I've ever been asked. <laughs> like I don't. I. I've ridden many horses. Uh huh. I've helped to break a couple horses, but I don't like. Are horses like dogs? Do they they have personalities and stuff, right? I mean, to a degree. Like, yeah. Do they they recognize you and like you? Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. they are intelligent I, animals. I think horse yeah. bond is a thing that exists. But like, you know, some intelligent animals don't care about you, even though they're smart. You know what I mean? Like Not cats. Like cats. I think I think people tend, from what I hear, people tend to build very strong. Also, you know what? That's not yeah. true. Cats totally do care about you. They totally have established <laughs> yes, relationships with yes, you. They're waiting for true. you to fall asleep so they can eat you. No, they just like your warm lap, which is fine with me. Yeah, I'm good with that. What is that? 
Uh, some animal. No, no. You get like the temperature and time report. Oh, when yeah. you go into like a new area, it's like oh, you're in Rhodes. So you know, like, you're put on a coat. Uh, <laughs> get the crop report. Yeah. yeah. And just to give you another uh, little example here, uh, if you want, you can just turn this damn thing off, and Ooh. you can have no mini map. And if you do that, people will. Uh, the dialogue apparently changes a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Cool. Like, like directions. They oh, start giving you some like right, landmark yeah. direction. Wow, that's stuff. so cool. Can you smack all these horses on the butt and make them flee? <laughs> Uh, maybe. Again, uh, I'm not supposed to cause trouble oh, in this oh, town. Sorry. I don't, yeah. Damn it, you guys are just terrible influences. <laughs> Do you have to pick flowers? Uh, you can. You can, yeah. Okay. There's, there's yeah. definitely, there's a degree of like, uh, you can make like poison arrows and oh, stuff. And, cool. and and you can also make like tonics you, out of various uh, herbs. Can you step in that horse poop? Uh, yeah, you can. Horse, horse I've done it. Yeah, it's there. behind you. It's right behind you. Oh. Uh, yeah. Certain flowers will be See beneficial it? to you and be poisonous to horses. Mm -hmm. Play in the horse poop. It, it'll do it. Oh, yeah. Alex! Yeah. Yeah. Dirty cowboy! Dirty uh, white cowboy! I did what you asked for. Can you crouch or roll? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. No crouching or rolling. I can ooh, crouch. look at the dog pee on you. <laughs> oh, okay. You can't get on the ground, though. No. Can All you right. pet the dog? Yeah. <gasps> you can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've pet many a dog. Are there cats in the West? Yes. I've seen a few cats oh, around. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Oh, um, yeah, this is the guy who has oh, the... Oh, that dude. He's going to start measuring. Oh, people. this one. Stop picking out a box. It's Crispin yourself. Glover looking dude. <laughs> that seems small. It does seem a little short. That's sad though. I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you. Man, this game looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a good looking world. I, I can get it for you. But uh well, uh Welcome to Bill's casket and wagon wheels. You could show a uh, first person mode too. Yes. Oh, which oh, what button does that? Uh, it's the big trackpad twice. Right. Well, depending on where you're at. Okay. Um. So you can play the whole game like this. If yeah. you does it feel better? I mean, I like the way GTA Five felt in first person, but sometimes it felt like this game is designed for third person and you are in first person. Does it feel like that at all? My feeling is that it is definitely feels more designed for third person, but I've had no issues playing in first person whenever I've wanted to. I occasionally go to first person if you're like having a conversation, like if I'm talking to Dutch or something. I want to see his face and his mannerisms more. Silky vest. It seems like so many different characters have their own like animations and walks and everything that are unique from everyone. One, it's it's insane. It's it's ludicrous. And you know, I mean, we've you know certainly heard plenty about like the amount of work that went into this game and the effort that went into it. And uh, you know, I mean, look, the thing I'll say about it is that like that effort shows. Like yeah. very few uh, open world games that I've ever played have done a better job masking the machinery of the open world than this one does because it very like I said very little of it feels copy pasted. The like seams, it all, and the seams feel tight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, this game is also, what, 100 gigs to download? It's like 90-something, like yeah. Wow. And it's not without bugs and some open-world janky Definitely. stuff. I've had enough issues pop up, but, like, uh, considering just how well everything works, I'm surprised there isn't more Is there a day-night cycle? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look. Like stores will close and stuff, you know. But if, if you hang out, like if you just wait, like time passes. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're in a store browsing the catalog for too long, the guy will be like, "Hey, we're closing soon, so you should get oh, out that's here." Cool. Just like Shenmue. Yes, there's some Shenmue stuff going on here. What did we just see? Can you, uh, there's some people hanging out in this graveyard, and you need them to go away. Can you dig uh, your own grave? Uh, in it, can you read? Game over. Graves? You can play Space Harrier if you go into the right place. <laughs> I don't believe I can read the graves. Ma'am. Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. <laughs> it's about time this place got cleaned up. How did people mow the lawn during that time? Probably a sickle. Scissors? Or maybe they had push mowers? <laughs> yeah, they just walked did around with scissors. they have push mowers then? I mean, that doesn't seem like a hard mechanical thing to figure out. Yeah. I don't think anyone was mowing this lawn. <laughs> no. I don't, yeah, maybe people just didn't give a shit about yeah, lawn. Yeah, maybe they just didn't mow. I don't Where's think the guy? suburbs were around. Like, Cows and horses hey, too asshole, much. Where are you? I think they were more worried about like how do we collect right. wheat uh, <laughs> than like how do we get the suburban this lawn to look good. <laughs> All right, so I gotta stand guard while he digs up some mon some money for me. Oh, somebody got buried with some money. Yep, yep. or some jewelry. I think. I think he buried them with him. <laughs> Bury me with my money. <laughs> Check out my tiny little church. Can you go inside that building? Uh, probably not right now. Mm. I but, found the most buildings you can go into if it's the oh. right time and the right situation. Yeah. Even people's homes? Oh, a lot of them, yeah. Yeah. Wow, cool. Hello, There are stranger. definitely places you can't go into. Stranger? 
It is funny to just find a homestead and just dive in through the window and just be like, hey, what's up, fuckers? The way people react when you run through a door versus walking in uh, is hilarious. You just like shoulder check the door like, open. You just, like, holy shit. I have cramered my way into so many buildings that everyone just instantly like, what yes. the fuck just happened? Well, because you're so used to running around in these games that like sometimes you're running when you hit it. And it's like, oh, that came in way too aggressively. All right, come on, come on. Who else is coming up here? Someone else is going to come up here. And I'm waiting for him. Check out my mustache. Can you whistle? Yeah. Up. Yeah, call over your horse for maintenance. Well, just, I can't right now. Oh, like, apparently. whistle it too. You won't whistle? Oh. Yeah. And, like, what? if you hold up, it'll do, like, a long whistle, or you can do, like, oh, a bunch of little taps cool. for, like, quick ones. Yep. But I can't do it right now because I'm in the middle of a mission. Can you sit? Uh, no, I cannot. Can if there crouch? was a chair nearby, I could, but. Will you I crouch? Can... If you stare at the sun and whistle, does time go by faster? <laughs> can you smoke a cigarette? Those clouds are. I can smoke a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> where do I have those? Uh, here, next some, to my yeah, premium cigarettes. Next to my cheese. Some lucky strikes. There you go. Oh There's wow! Did your health go down? Uh, dead eye goes up, stamina goes down. I think. Does it really? Yeah. Oh Gentlemen, man. Video games, huh? I beat the oh. shit out of these dudes. I don't care very much what they are. We're looking for some privacy. Get the Look at his chops, out. though. Yeah, that's more than chops. That's a main <laughs> mud flaps. I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back to you gonna Could you just shoot him if you wanted? Uh, I think no, because I'm not allowed to use guns in this town right oh, now. I see. Oh, so you probably don't want to make too much noise. This guy's a good fighter, Alex. Yeah, this guy's better than How the other guy. How's the brawling in this game? It's alright. It's it feels a little bit like a hockey fight, you know, it's just <laughs> yeah. It just that does the job, but it's like just punch, block, and, and grapple. Couldn't yeah. stop watching you step on your hat. Oh, well, we're about to get two new hats. Yeah. Wow, you fucking oh, yeah. knocked Steal the light hat. out of that guy. Steal his hat. How long, how long are you going to be bruised yes. up? Yes. That's my hat. Oh, no. swap, swap hats. One. Yeah, let's Although try they, this one. They have crappy hats. <laughs> that's, an right hat. Actually, yeah, that that's an alright hat. Actually, yeah, that's an alright hat. I'll, tell, I'll go with that one. Now, I can never tell, like, are those dudes dead? Because they've got the same X on them that mm. dead people have. I mean, you can so. loot them, so I would, I, I, as far as the game is concerned, they are dead. That's what always worried me. Like, I would get in a bar fight, and it would just end with him being, like, dead. And it's like, well, I just want to kick his ass. I didn't want to kill the guy. Oh, man, he's been busy. Oh, if you watched him, would you be able to watch what him dig this hole? Or would he just be like, get away? I bet, if you, say, I bet if you weren't watching the gate, he'd be like... Like, there's a yellow zone you kind of have to stand um, in. Yeah. Okay. Give me that diamond brooch. Give me that shit. Push him in the grave. Oh, <laughs> uh, this'll do. Now get out of here. So that's the thing, like all these like bounty hunter side missions or these debt collection this. ones. Mm -hmm. It's not as simple as just like, okay, go kill them and grab the money off their body. They typically all have their own little story. Like yes. this one, this grave robbery thing. It's it's And there's so many of those things. Like each type of mission might only have like, you know, eight or nine different ones, but there's so many different yeah. types of things to do. Like the next one might be like, oh, I can't pay you back, but I've got a lead on this like really rare, you know, white cougar that if you kill it, its pelt is going to be worth a ton. And he'll all lead right, you to it and you can skin right it. Now. Okay. You jump in a window. Uh, I don't know if there are there any windows. I've definitely missed sense some people flying out of windows. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be able to reach those. I yeah. All, All right. right, let's see. Where else should we go? What else should we do? So this get is drunk at the bar. bar yeah, fight. is this the drunk town? Bar go to fight. a bar. Let's go to the bar. You're a cowboy. Go to a bar. Where's the saloon? I think it's down. Is that where the cards is, yeah. are? Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. Is the saloon locked? I have a little lock on it. Um, Sometimes it has that, but it doesn't mean you can't go in there. It just might be that there's like not there's a thing you would normally be able to do there that like you can't right Whoa, now. Whoa, that dog's taking a dump. Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> go roll around in that. Wow, they really animate everything in this there's game. So do you many take a dump? Yeah, can so you make Arthur? Can you make Arthur poop? Do you no. hold down on down on the deep pad. No. <laughs> Does he ever pee? Not that I've seen. Does he barf if you drink too much? Yes, I have seen him barf. Yeah, I can't. Remember. I I may not. I don't think I've ever actually drank enough to to get him to vomit outside well, of the story. Well, if context. you overeat, can he barf? I haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't think there is like. I mean, you can get overweight, but there isn't uh really like an overeating mechanic. You can, like, gorge yourself. Let's make him barf right now. Uh, Go this bar. game is too realistic looking, though. It's gonna be actually gross. <laughs> barf. Yep. This is What's a up, fancy ladies and bar. gents? That saloon had door handles on it. Um, can you enjoy Cloth. a lady of the night in this game? Or is it like the original Red Dead? I have not uh, encountered any uh, lady friends. Okay. I have had one bathe me. Yes. I don't oh, think that's you fun. Can, yeah. So should I pay for a bath? Yeah, let's get a bath. <laughs> let's see that mini game. Delightful. Let's do it. 
Where's the hot bath zone? Somewhere around here. Oh, this. You have to go upstairs. You're in the way of my bath. I'm pretty stinky. I need a bath. Where's the stairs? So this. I just dug up a grave. <laughs> I need a bath. No, I had someone else dig up the grave. <laughs> yeah. You just beat the shit out of are people. Are you still bloody? Can you turn around? Or can you spin the camera around? I think the stairs are in yeah, the main okay. room. Are they? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, this looks wrong. Oh, somebody's screaming for help. Yeah, that's the first thing I did in this town, was I came in here, and I was trying to be noble, and I wound up accidentally blowing a dude's head off and getting in a huge fight, and now there's a huge bounty on my head in this town. <laughs> Eventually, those bounties just become not an issue, economy-wise. Yeah. Uh, these buildings all seem pretty nice. Oh, somebody's nice. fighting down there. Let's see it. Are there towns with uh, less nice, <laughs> oh, yeah. more rundowns? There are super divey little bars. Oh, yeah, that's this cool. is like a fancy one. If you started fighting somebody here, would a bar brawl break out with like chairs being thrown and stuff? I think it would most likely clear out. It would. Okay. Yeah. Is it also fun. depend if because this seems like a gentleman's bar? Is it different mm, versus like, like a, a saucy bar? Yeah, a sauce bar. <laughs> I've seen bigger bar fights, but they were like tied to story stuff. Okay. Yeah, bars without say bathing. Is it nighttime already? Yes, I think so. Oh, that He's guy looks of... cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we just look like him? Steal his hat. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get let's get clean. Ooh. It's just, like the, it's just like the Witcher. Ooh, look at those bubble bubbles. Bath? Wow, yeah. that seems nice. A bubble Scrub bath? right arm. Wow, this seems very good. What a nice setup. Yeah, it's I wish I bag. had that high-backed bath. It's Some of them have like a bottle of whiskey on that little thing that goes across the tub. Look at oh. that little cribbies. I literally think I've only bathed once in this game, which is Gross. sad. I have a question. Yeah. So what if you get in the tub and only wash your right arm and nothing else? <laughs> I don't know. That would Can be you funny. You just have like it... one clean arm. Oh. oh. Ooh, yes. Yes, I would like deluxe the deluxe bath. bath. You want to upgrade? That's twice as much. Yeah, well, there's a lady involved. <laughs> Ma'am. Are you going to exfoliate? Arthur does seem like a gentleman in most of his interactions. Yeah, I mean, other than the, when he's shaking people down for money. like <laughs> Right, <laughs> but good. in terms of just politeness towards innocent strangers, he seems pretty nice. Can you tell her no small talk, please? <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind the small talk. I love that that's an option, though. Yeah. Like, honestly, hell yeah, <laughs> yeah for being bold enough to say that, Arthur. Oh, well, that's something. Does she use the brush, the scrub brush? <laughs> no, she's not using soap or anything. We were doing like better before she came yeah, in. Seriously. It's more of a special massage. Uh, scrub that left leg. <laughs> Make her scrub your toes. <laughs> Oh, you know, not much to fuss about. Yeah, left leg. That's uh -huh. left leg scrub. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> there it is. Just get, get in there. Just uh, thank you. Now, maybe, now, now the other leg. That one's really dirty. Yep, just the inside of my knee. Thank you. Hmm, you've got my sympathies. That other leg, please. <laughs> wow, the decadence. All right, we're gonna get out of here now. That's perfect. Thanks. Hope to see you again. Man, that must suck to have to fill that bad tub up and empty it after each one. Like, How would that work? You have to take buckets yeah, and like, like from a well or something? And boil heat water. it up and then boil oh, water and then take it downstairs when he's done. All the West seems inconvenient. Yeah, jump out that window. That's why people didn't bathe. I don't think I can just uh, jump out the window. Uh, bummer. Oh, bummer. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm clean. Oh, thank you, Alex. Back to work. Okay, now we gotta that go back you, in and do our bar fight. <laughs> go back in and jump out of every window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you could take a fall, huh? Yeah. yeah, he really did not. If you had called your horse before that, is there any chance he would be underneath you? There's a fucking thing you can do if you're riding on a horse and you go up next to another horse, even if somebody else is on it, you can hit square to jump from your oh, horse to another stunt horse. position. Yeah, That's it's cool. awesome. Can I you call your horse, your horse first this time. Yeah, jump over the table. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna get over that table. Oh yeah, oh, that's no, a, that's a, uh, no horse. Whoa, What's happening to her? <laughs> Is she Princess Peach? <laughs> she wanted to jump out a window too. Uh. Also, the music in this game across the board is fantastic. Oh, yep. That's great. From the little things they're playing at the camp to the <laughs> stuff that's just playing for the soundtrack, it's, it's it definitely awesome. seems like it still keeps the spirit of the. All right. Place. Oh yeah. Here you go. Oh, I'm inside a building, so the horse won't respond. Do it okay, as you're but jumping. with the window will. Let's go. <laughs> Good yeah. night. <laughs> 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 Onto some barrels. <laughs> Doing uh, great. That was great. It's really fun entering buildings. Oh, that now is there any ground floor windows you can jump into? <laughs> Give me that, a drink. Is that one right there? Do people, oh, maybe. Are people startled when you bust What's through a, a window? The window behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, in, go in the this ground floor. Here. I mean, this isn't your safe. Or Let's the just bar. Fuck it up yeah, now. Right. Let's do it. No, no these windows okay. seem too sturdy. But you should do the bar window. Find a window to jump into. What about that house? 
I would assume small. you have to see through it, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, you yeah. can see that one windows, on the porch. Yeah. Store. It's a general store. Just jump into the store window. Oh, uh, that looks like oh, there's shit seems... on the other side. But yeah, the bar, the you could jump into the the first four bar windows, I think. Probably. <laughs> Window. Try to hold up the shop. I mean, I could do again. I'm. I, they don't want me to cause trouble here. And I think it's just gonna like. <laughs> That's fail not your me. save. I mean, yeah. this looks like trouble here anyway. You're not mid mission. New in town, hmm? I murdered a man immediately upon coming okay, to this yeah, town. So I can't even rob this guy currently. Oh, really? Yeah, I think because the story point I'm at right now. Ah, uh, okay. Point. You'd break it. But there's definitely a point where you can just start. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Look at that. Is that like a Clydesdale? Well, what do you guys want to do? You want to do one more mission? Get drunk. Drunk, Get bar, drunk. fight. Barf. Drunk, bar, fight. All right. But Carf and then but fight. You gotta jump through a yes. first floor window. I still don't know if you this is the to. town to do that in, but let's find out. Let's let's find out together. I'm trying to think, if there's any other? Oh God, jump in. Any other? Oh, barrels. No, can't do it. How about okay, there are the others. Side? Yeah. I think it, I think it's too high. These two. Uh, I think it's too high. No, that is just curtains. The other ones. <laughs> this is clearly set up to jump through. Look at those barrels. I'm, I'm trying. I can't do it. I can't get up on top of these. Uh, uh, listen, you're, it's still up for having jumped out a window, and that was impressive. Okay, balcony. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's right, a table this, on this the is other our side. Best chance, Bust so. through right into somebody's lap. <laughs> uh, there's tables. Yeah, I don't there's think tables. so. Yeah, it's it's you can't punch either, right? Dang it. Not just randomly. You have to be in a fight, I think. All right. Well, I'll get drunk. Anyway, sorry about your windows. <laughs> oh, that guy's got some good chops. I'm trying to think if there's any other proper video game stuff what? we need to address. Do you have to get closer to him? Maybe. Uh, this is like a bar. <laughs> I have to hold out dollars for 15 minutes until somebody <laughs> looks at me. This one's just not letting me drink. What? What? The fuck? Is it this because town sucks? Is yeah. it because it well, still it says you're not supposed to cause trouble? Is this? Eat did almonds. It, it said you could eat almonds. Okay, that's, that's not getting cool. drunk. No, well. It did, say, it? it did say it was Where locked, was it? remember? It was, it was there. Like right here. There, there it is. Oh, man. Get them almonds. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh, excuse, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can I get to these almonds? Don't mind sure. me. I'm going to stand right next to you while I eat my almonds. <laughs> these are for everybody. It did say it was locked. Is that what Maybe that's why. Oh. oh, my gosh, oh. lady. Oh. <laughs> Miss. That wow. lady's a weird ghost. I don't know what's happening there. Jump out that window to your left. Go yes. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, there, look at your map and hover over the saloon icon. It'll usually give you some details on why something doesn't work. Do you know, uh, so if you hold in the options button for a couple seconds, you just go straight to your map. Oh, that's nice. And, yeah. Um, scroll in or on the saloon. I'm on saloon? it. Yeah, that's, Weird. that's where I am. So it doesn't even have the lock thing anymore. Yeah. yeah. Weird. All right. Okay. Sometimes uh, well, there's obscure you, stuff like that. Do you have booze in your inventory? Drink all of it. It's right here. I bar. usually have a ton. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. BYO. Let's see what okay, I got. Okay, go to your, uh, is it tonics? Yeah, I think it would be in provisions. Yeah. Right? Yep, um, gin. Yep, just, yep, okay, Ew, now we're talking. Get drunk off a of gin. Gross. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> okay. But yeah. tur try and turn yourself, if you could, for me, so that when you throw the bottle, you throw it right into the piano next time. <laughs> 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 throw it on that guy's table. <laughs> that guy's not happy. Where's the piano? It's right there. Too. Okay. It's right in the back of his head. Yeah, right in the back. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, Alex. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Nope, what, bourbon. What? Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, Looks turn. like it goes at about a 3.30 p.m. angle. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. That's seems... Mm. <laughs> Not sure if I can position him well for this. I gotta get Keep this drinking. just there, right. That's good. That's that good. Okay. good. Start yeah. drinking. Oh, if, it, if he reacted to the, to the head... That'd be would... great. I hope it knocks him over and then he just falls on the oh, piano. Oh, let's get forward. Oh, and I'm drunk now, though. <laughs> oh, drink more. Yeah, drink Ooh. more. Keep Pass drinking. Out. We got to punch some of these gentlemen, though. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Okay, one more and then punchies. Hi, fellers. <laughs> Games have done this for a long time and it's still funny. Mm hmm. Keep going. Oh, that's oh, the sound. No, this is the, no, this is good because we can still fight here. I feel no. like anything else you're falling over. Are you gonna be able to fight? I don't know. Drink Let's more. Can you take a bath, drunk? <laughs> oh, can we not fight? Drink. I think we can't fight here. Dang it! All this right, then pass sucks. out. Just keep drinking. All right, now yeah, get, keep going. If I can't fight, might as well drink. 
I'm sorry that I picked an area where you know they're just this story wise. It's not letting me be a complete asshole, yeah, but sorry. you know, trust me when I say there are plenty of opportunities to be complete Ooh. assholes. Oh, in this man, game. I've been there. This is where you just yep. want to feel sober again. Do you have any more? Or are you done? Drink more. Can, Can you? you barf inside the bar? <laughs> yeah, we want to find that. out. That's now my new goal. On if we can't fight, we are yes. Barf the piano. Barf the piano. <laughs> I think I may have hit a. Uh, yeah. They threw you out of the bar? We just woke up the next day in the road. And you wake up and like your cores are all fucked. I come well, over. Yeah, my heart, my health is not great. Okay, well, you sobered up pretty quick. Right. Right? Yeah. No barfing, which Good is a real stinker. There is definitely a scene where you barf, but... Yes. Yeah. All right, well, what else does people want to see? Well, you can't cause any mayhem here, so I'd say this town's a I want to see you hunt something. I want to see yeah. you hunt skin. Why don't you go skin something? All right, let's... Uh, Let's see, where's a good place? Let's try and get out of this general area. Let's just start heading north. Yeah, please. I want to see more like the open plains. Yeah. All right, we'll just start heading this general direction. Can you get your horse drunk? <laughs> you can uh, feed it all sorts of stuff. You can, Cheese yes. and bread and flowers. Where's my horse? horse, did, horse my horse, of course. It, it likes oat cakes. It's a designated driver. It did not get drunk. Is that your horse? That's my horse. Hi, horsey. Let's feed him. Don't name your horse. Uh, I named my other horse I, that I spent actual money on. <laughs> this is like the $15 horse. Oh, yeah. So I did not bother to name it. Oh, oat cakes. Classic. Oh, okay. classic oat cake. My girl. Anyone else got questions while I'm riding out? Uh, so how, how much of the mechanics have been... You said there's a lot of animation, a lot of mm -hmm. mechanics. How much have do you feel like have gotten in the way of your enjoyment? Um, most of the issues I've had with the game, again, have been much more just, like, sort of feel. Like, uh, I think the control sometimes can be a little unwieldy, uh, in certain places. Like, just trying to position Arthur in places yeah. to, like, you know, to, to loot the right thing or, or pick up the right thing. Like, sometimes that stuff can get kind of annoying. I have not really felt like the systems have gotten in my way. Okay. Like, you know, the, the occasional gun cleaning and the occasional hunting and whatnot. Like, a, a lot of that stuff is very in the background okay like it is not at the forefront of the experience like early on i thought like oh god am i gonna have to hunt yes. like constantly and bring meat back to the the camp and after a while it's just like no you absolutely don't that's the thing like the first five plus hours are very overwhelming i would say yes. and they're like oh god there's so much shit i have to do here so and yeah, because we did that first hour thing and it, it sets up like keep your stamina up mm -hmm. yeah so that didn't play out really uh, I mean, it, you do have to keep track of those those three things, but, like, it really does just come down to, like, have supplies, eat them. Okay. Like, it, it isn't, like, a, a huge burden I've found to, to keep track of that stuff. It's not stuff. a survival game. No. Well, there also is, like, Alex, do you want to set up a camp and show just, like, the level of, like, animations if you want to, like, create a tonic? Like, you have to get used to this type of stuff of just how long it takes. Whereas, like, a lot of games you would just, you know, hit start, go to a crafting menu, hit X twice if you have the materials and you'd make the tonic. So watch here, you have to get off, you have to find a good place where there's not activity nearby. You have to go set up a camp. Is this uh, camp stuff limited, or you can do this? Uh, you can do the camp stuff Yeah, this, this is this is any time. Anytime you're not on a road or in a settlement or, okay. or city. So now you make a fire, and then you go into crafting. Yes. And then, Ooh, like, if you want to make a tonic... Did you mustache? <laughs> no, huh. it's there. Uh, so yeah, go over to like tonics or something. Well, like any of so these this. things, it's the same well, thing. Like, like, so for meat, like, you know, if I want to, if I want to make this, I just have to. He puts it on the knife, and then I can hold the X button if I want to like speed it up a little bit. But that's it. And then I yeah. can either eat it, uh, which I'm going to do that with that right now. But if you want to make several, it's just like cook another. It's not yes. like how many do you want to do. Gotcha. And then do the tonic thing, like the level of like animations of like if you want to stow it, he pulls out another little thing out of mm -hmm. his bag and he opens up the lid and like wow. you have to get used to the level of animation that Ooh. is in this game. Ah. I know, that's ah. like a metal cup. <laughs> Let's stow that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he pulls this out, pour it in. Man, you need a funnel right. for that. Put Good that aim. In there. It's a tiny little thing. Yeah, so it's a lot of stuff like that. You need yeah. some of that Zelda ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting used to all this stuff. Just everything, you, you kind of have to wait for things to be a little more realistic in this game. Yeah, everything in this game is paced out in a very slow clip. And right. that's, you know, again, it's very intentional. But uh, I think that is going to drive some people up the wall, especially if you've been playing stuff like, you know, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where, like, <laughs> yes, there's a whole lot of that game, but also you can run and climb on yeah. everything. And everything has, like, a very quick pace to it. It's whereas, a video. It's a it's a it is a it's a video game video, ass video yes. game yeah whereas this is going for much more of a like i said like a slow pouring kind of vibe it, it's a level of depth i've never seen in a game can you run a, run away from your camp 
uh, and leave that stuff there if you needed to, or would you lose your camp supplies? I don't know. I've always torn down the okay. camp because I'm a very responsible yes, person. That's right. <laughs> oh. hunt, hunt that thing. All right. Shoot, so let's shoot, get. Shoot. Uh, let's do the bow. Or just lasso it. Stars. Well, it'll tell you. So if you study it, it tells you what gun you need to use to kill it to get a perfect pelt. Uh, oh. Yeah. So so watch. If you lock onto that. Uh, oh, oh, we're just right, right for the kill. All right. Yeah. Jeez, you are good with a bow. I think I clipped Ooh. it. Which well, one do we hit? There's plenty, so, yeah. plenty more. So if you study it, that's how you know, like, oh, yeah, use a varmint easy. rifle if you want to get the perfect thing here. All right, so I'm out of dead eye, so I missed that one. Blown it. So how do you, get, you drink tonic to get dead eye back? Or or cer certain food items will do it as well. Dead eye core is typically like cigars, cigarettes, and chewing tobacco. Snake yeah. oil. Uh, that might be filling just the actual meter. Oh, sorry. Core versus meter. Yeah. Again, it's a lot. Yeah. So here, I'll drink a tonic. That'll. Uh, wait, where is that? Can you do like stealthy hunting? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can definitely stock stuff if you want. Can Snake you? Oil, can you go. use your rope whenever you want? You can lasso, yeah. People mm -hmm. and drag. There's like a, a challenge for like drag a human three hundred and three thousand three hundred. That was pretty fun in the in Red Dead Redemption one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like on the railroad tracks. Yep, yep. You gotta grow the right. I did that whenever I lost poker. I would just like kill him and then like <laughs> drench him in bear bait and take him to the most like bear infested part of the woods. I only saw a deer. Right? Yeah, yeah. There it is. Uh oh, Shit. you're gonna blow it. Thanks for the vote of confidence, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, almost. Hunting is hard. Well, especially when they're fast, yeah. And, and you're on a horse. Let's get close. So what makes your dead eye core yeah. go down? Uh, using dead eye. Makes the core go down? Yes. Yeah, if you run out. All right, I clipped it. Ooh, there it goes. The ankles, yeesh. Oh, it didn't go down. Oh, Damn he's, it. He's, he's not doing well. Is that the one? They will do the scenes too, where like you've wounded it and it's just laying there crying, oh. and you have to put it out of its misery. Uh, can you track a thing? Can you tag it so that? Mm -hmm. it, um, yeah. If you go into that mode, that the vision mode or whatever, you can see the trail, and you can say track this animal. You can. Okay. Yeah, and it'll show oh, you a path. Right, I think you, you know, switched gonna... uh, switch deer. Yeah, yeah, I don't know which we're one. We're wounding all of them a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, you'll come back. The noble the guy. All right, let me let's drink another, uh, you know, let's just, it doesn't matter. I'll just drink whatever. I'm getting drunk and I'm shooting deer. Uh-huh, with a bow. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes, there we go, to the heart. No! No, nope, it's fine. Damn, dude. I think you got him in the hindquarters. Yeah. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it there is. He is. How Man, in front of fuck. You? No, too far. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to catch up with that. This is actually the worst hunting I've ever done. Well, I feel like you're kind of just rushing it for yeah. the quick look, or have you just hunted from the back of the horse before? There you go. Nope. Oh, that's a stag. Drafted those elk, elk antlers. Oh, Ooh. there we go. That. Nope, it's fine. <laughs> it's Jesus, these things. Wait, is that a oh, human no, we got a, No, that's the animal. Jeez. God, get a clean kill. It might be past I'm that. On it. Oh, jeez. It's not always like this. Sometimes you kill it in one shot and it's dead. Okay. Oh, man. That's merciful. All right, now let's skin it. Whoops, yep. wrong button. You are strong. Wow. <laughs> jeez, I Arthur. am a strong man. <laughs> wow. Alabama slam. Well, uh, why would sometimes you take the whole thing versus skinning? Well, you can do that, but generally what you want to do is you want to skin it, and then you can take the carcass and sell that. Oh, because okay. can you take the meat now and bring it back to camp uh -huh. once you skin it? And the carcass will decompose if you leave it on your horse for too long. Oh, wow. Yep. Do you see it get all, like, green and gross? Uh, I haven't seen that. All right, so I got a good pelt. That's oh. good. So it said Master Hunter 3 of 3 deer skin. Does that get you anything? Yeah, like that's the, a challenge, and the challenges will unlock upgrades and like experience and stuff. Make the animation faster. But I will nope. also no. But I will also say again, I have largely ignored a lot of that stuff, and it has had no real major impact in my ability to play the core game. Okay. Like a lot of this stuff is there if you want to mess with it and you want to want to get all like the belt upgrades and shit like that. But like, 
I have not found that I have needed that stuff to progress. I found it fun, though. Like, the challenge is, like, they have you doing weird things, like shooting birds from the top of a train, and, like, I, I thought a lot of them were fun. So yeah. it's like, oh, the horseman challenge, race from Valentine to Rhodes in under five minutes, and just fun open-world stuff to do. Help oh, this guy. All these deer with arrows sticking out of them <laughs> attack me. There's a maniac. <laughs> And so, like, this dude here, you can help him out, and then maybe later on you'll go to a store, like a gun store, and he'll be like, Hey, it's that guy who saved my, you know, you took yep. my leg out of the thing. It's on me. Go get any gun you want. Uh, Suck out Venom. Suck oh, yeah. Suck out Venom. I'm, be that I guy. Okay. Out of his knee? I have an idea. Aww. <laughs> the sound, the mm -hmm. slurping. Good thing I'm a vampire. Not a word to anyone. Got me? Oh, you won, mister. I think he could have sucked that venom out of himself. Also, uh, does that actually work? I, I think as much as, like, making sure the venom doesn't do try to spread in your blood, but I don't know. I bet <laughs> I bet it is not the preferred course of action <laughs> given other opportunities. Right, you're not just going to get up and be, like, kind of fine after. Or just go to the doctor and be like, suck the venom out, please. No, I don't No, I don't want the anti-venom. I want the sucking the yeah. venom out. No, I've, use your mouth. Yes, I've heard this is, oh, this is the only thing that works. All right. Well, I mean, what what else does anyone want to see? Anything else? Like, there's again, there's bounty targets. There's uh, obviously a wide variety of story missions, strangers, things to do, things to see. Well, let me ask you this: so yes. far, this isn't a review, but so no. far, has it been engaging with the story? Things move along. Yeah, like you know, I talked about with Assassin's Creed Odyssey and the length of that game being kind of a problem, and a big part of the problem was that I just felt like the story content of that game did not sustain the length. By and large, with this one, I have found that I have remained engaged with the story and what's been going on in it. You know, it has its ups and downs, like any you know rock star pen story. Like it's it's certainly not flawless, but I think in general, it's like some of the best writing they've ever put out. Mm. Uh, and you know, I think Arthur Morgan's tale is a very compelling one and one that I've uh, you know I think even if I weren't reviewing it, uh, I would want to see through to the end. Can we see a little of the menu stuff, just in the, in terms of what you got going on for progress or player and? Okay, so here's the uh, so progress. You know, story. You can there's a compendium, which is a sort of like you know every type of animal, equipment, fish, gangs, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Uh, the challenges list. Uh, you know, your total completion. Uh, the player stuff is just sort of like, hey, here's Arthur, and do you want to see like, you know, here's my general health. Oh, okay. Uh, but then you can hit X on most of these, and that goes into another thing, showing yeah, wow. all these perks and stuff, and like your weight conditions. Yeah, so like level eight would be maximum dead eye, and I'm at level four so, here. So what are those perks? Do you get those from doing the different kind of hunting challenges and and shooting challenges and stuff like that? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. You can get talismans and trinkets and stuff. No kidding, have. really? Yeah. 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 And a lot of that stuff is like, hey, I killed a legendary animal, so I can use the paw from that that animal to make a trinket that gives me like 10% more stamina oh, or wow. that kind of like stuff. Science. I've got a giant uh, bear head that I put on top of my head when I play poker to intimidate the other players. <laughs> is that right? Uh, I don't think it actually works, but I like to think <laughs> but it's it does. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, neat. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I just kind of want to get in there and check it out. Yeah. It's yeah. very impressive. I mean, I like get my hands dirty with the skin. And then, and then take a bath. I could definitely show off more like story stuff or whatever, but I think people will be more than happy to discover that for themselves. Again, I think that the real highlights here, you know, the camp stuff is really cool. It does a great job of making oh. you feel like the people in your gang are like actual people and mm -hmm. not just sort of like random NPC quest givers. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, just the the. Just the scale of the thing is fucking staggering. Rob that cart and end it. Yeah, do it. All right, let's do it. Yeah. I've got this deer, but fuck <laughs> it. Uh, let's... Wait, I want to see you dual wield. Okay. Oh, damn. Howdy, folks. Will they stop? stop. Shoot the lantern and make the go on fire. Oh, God. The shoot the lantern. Like we got to loot before we shoot. Yeah. <laughs> On your way. Shoot! He's gonna shoot you. Shoot. Uh, All right, shoot the lantern. 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 Oh god! Dead eye! Dead eye! Damn it! Dang. Oh. No witnesses. Scoped rifle. Oh god! Oh. Damn it! <laughs> I tried. It's a good try. Is she gonna be in your gang now? <laughs> No. Yeah, recruit them. Oh, there were witnesses. Yeah, they're all running all over the place. Can you skin them? Oh, jeez. Oh, Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, oh damn, dude. Okay. Wait, How's who, our who honor? I don't think she's dead. Who reported the crime? 
I don't think she's going anywhere. Uh, there were like three witnesses, so one of them is probably oh, running somebody's off. Somebody's still blinking there, yeah, the eyeball running away from And me. you can convince them not to, like, without killing them. You can be like, threaten, be like, hey, you didn't see shit here, all right? Yeah. And dismiss Whoa. them. Yeah, that is totally a thing you can do. Wow. So once it says crime reported, even if you got the witness, you're, you're kind of done? Yeah, I kind of need to get out of this area okay. at least. Uh, otherwise, cops will show up and start investigating. So you can... Oh. <laughs> She's pretty resilient, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let her roll. Yeah, I'm going to let her roll. She's like the deer. <laughs> she just discovered she's a super Rob that human. one. Rob that. Yeah, she, oh, shoot the lantern. Yes. Dead eye with a rifle. Shoot the tire. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Oh, Where is it? Oh, jeez. God, you're a maniac. I mean, yeah, this is what you told Shoot me the to horse. do. I'm Wait. doing what you people told me to you're do. A dishonorable man, Alex. Kill the tomorrow. horse while they're on top of it. Oh boy! All right, and that's well, the story of Arthur Morgan. Indeed, it is. It ended that's right why, there. That's, that's the end of it. That's why he wasn't in the Red Dead. Plus. Yes. Yep. It's Died canonical. doing stupid shit. <laughs> so yeah, this is Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, like I said, I like it a lot. It is a huge uh, upgrade. I will definitely say over the last game. Uh, yeah, that's all there is, man. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.